Okay, so now we're into the Berserker solo. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, um, I don't know what I recorded. So what happened was I had the section recorded on this computer, and I had a little sound going that I kind of liked. I said, I'm just going to put something down to get the idea for it, but I'll record the real thing later. And then I pressed record, and when I saw that red light, I don't know if other people have this, this problem, but when I saw that red light, there's two red lights here on the cameras. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to. I just, I went into a trance. I don't know what I recorded. And then I thought, oh gosh, I hope it sounds good enough. I hope the quality is good enough. Because I, I don't know what I did, but I love how it sounds, and I love that, and I love the wah-wah. This is the basic idea. When I play this live, I play basically this. But you're really on your own. Um... <laughs> slow it down or something I don't know because I, I can't really tell I had to match it up with my fingers for the music video I did the best I could but I slowed it down I, I can't replicate exactly what the solo is what doctor uh, what professor possible has told me is that I'm oscillating between E minor <laughs> And E Dorian. Because the key shifts a little bit, so you get a little bit of. So it starts in E Dorian. And then it shifts. So it goes from this. From that to this. Uh, what you can do is you have the same pattern here. It's a pentatonic, I think they call it. And then you have that here. So between those two, you can kind of, I don't know what else to tell you. Just go berserk. Just go berserk. Then Randy does a solo and then commences our little duet. <laughs> to sing this this melody to come up with it. right and then you got this fast little thing I wish I had a little bit of a, of a heavier pick This is hard. And every time I play that, I think, I don't really know where I'm going with these notes. I don't know when I'm going to stop bending or when I should stop bending. I just, when I arrive there... And I'm like... unison band and now we're into what is a a kind of elaboration of the main theme with the two-handed tapping <laughs> So what you basically do is you do a kind of like... That's just... It's just going down this shape. 
right here. This is one of my favorite little tricks. I do a little. Now this is important, you go. And we're back into it. You remember this? You learned it at the beginning. Now all of this madness is... Um, I don't know, it's just something I came up with. Do, do, do I have to play every note slowly? I don't think so. I don't want to play all the notes for you. I wish you'd figure out the notes for yourself. Get a slow down program and figure it out yourself. And now, I love this riff. a whole song out of that. So you go. That's the first chord we started with. That's D and A. And then you go. That's a little attitude. G to A. So. And I love this next chord. I invented this chord. What do you got up there? Is this? I think it's all thirds. So that's. Now the attitude is so important to this. Um. I think of it as a fanfare. Then for the last part, I switch on my um, harmonizer pedal and I go. That's the end of the song. So now you know the Bob Ross technique. And what I want to tell each and every one of you is use these um, little licks and tricks or structures or, or, or little playgrounds or sandboxes that I've built and, and blossom out and make your own solos. Please make your own melodies. Please um, do upload them with attribution. I just ask for attribution, please. And tag me and I'd love to share them. You can download the backing tracks from merch, uh, mrssmith.merchnow.com and uh, get to work, kittens. Good luck. <laughs> Great. <laughs>